Yay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So relaxed today. I feel like I'm in a spa. We're so zen. Oh. <laughs> you guys Always remember that giveaway we were talking about? Mm-hmm, I remember. We extended it. <gasps> because something was wrong with iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what. Yeah, we don't That's know. That's okay. But in case you didn't rate and review, you can now. Definitely. And get entered to win Studio Sweden headphones. Right. And the easiest way to do it is to go to that purple podcast app that is already on your iPhone. Find uh, It Takes Three Podcast and click the little subscribe button, rate, and write a little review and you're automatically entered. That's all you got to do. We will be choosing the winner on April 15th. Yes. Sounds a good right? Yeah. Sounds great. I like that day. So you guys have about two weeks. Mm -hmm. Write that review screenshot it to yeah. us yeah let us know that you did it just in case and you can tweet us at it takes three podcasts so we can see the picture and you're all set and that's it that's and you get it. some dope new headphones so easy it's a win-win for both parties yes, yes. good luck <laughs> bye, bye. He's not even dressed up as SpongeBob. He's just yellow, a yellow guy. Yeah. I mean, so I mean he doesn't have the button down he doesn't and the brown have, shorts? I guess he does, but I pictured like the big sponge. I guess because you can't really sing. I guess you couldn't move in it, but in a big costume I like was just that. confused when I saw the commercial. I was just staring at SpongeBob. If someone thinking, gave me free tickets, him? I'd go. Yeah. Well, yeah. My coworker took her kids. I wouldn't they pay. Liked it, no, so. I wouldn't pay for that. But like if I just happen to win like the lottery, the Broadway lottery, I'd go. I used yeah. to really love SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob Me too. So and good. I remember even in junior high, yeah. I had the SpongeBob stuffed it was like a stuffed animal pillow. Yeah. And I would bring it to school with me. Wow. Like ew. That's <laughs> gross. <though. laughs> like ew. <laughs> like that I remember a vividly it was like pajama day or something. And I wore my pajamas and I brought SpongeBob to school. And even the kids were like, Why are you bringing that in the lunchroom? <laughs> it's kind of it like, like you were accessorizing. You're right. It's gross. Yeah. Yeah, accessorizing like my pajamas. Your, your sleepwear accessory. I had that for a long time. I think when we finally moved to my new house is when... Ooh, Snapchat. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> is when I got rid of it. Anyway. Okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. What are we drinking? We are drinking... It's a red wine. Yes. It's a Pinot Noir. <laughs> it's a Pinot Noir. Alma Libre. Yeah. Alma Libre. What does Libre mean? Free. Free. Like freedom? Ooh, I love that. Alma's spirit. Oh, I love like that. Like free spirit. That free spirit. Whole yeah. I love. <laughs> I'm going to get that tattooed like on my head. I love that. So I <laughs> love it. Alma free Libre. spirit. But it's delicious. Alma Libre. It is it. very, very nice. As always, wink. Wink. Coming through. Coming through with the wine. If you want wink, check the link down below. Wink slink. Wink slink. Good one, Lizzie. Do you guys remember that show with the weakest link? Goodbye. You are the wicked My link. mom yeah. still to this day makes fun of her accent, which she should. Isn't that who wants to be a millionaire? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. No. No? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about? <laughs> it's a similar premise where it's like you have to answer questions, yeah. but then at the end she goes, You're the the weakest link. And the way but she what says show it, is it? My, it's called The, the weakest, weakest Link. Is it called that? Yeah. I mean, it's been off for years, but oh, it was called I The that, Weakest Link. I thought that's how they fucking said it's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> my bad. You're the Weakest yeah. Link. Goodbye. I could have sworn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I You're fused my game shows together. Yeah. Cross if anyone thing. remembers that show, let us know. If you know anyone, I feel like, does anyone know? I'm just thinking of a topic. Does anyone know anyone that's been on a game show? That would be fun. That's great. Let us know that. A girl in my high school uh, that I went to high school with, she was on uh, Jeopardy. And wow. she did really well on Jeopardy. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, though. And we went to high school with a girl who was on Oprah. What? But for like, like she had a story. Teen. Oh. oh, that's sad. <laughs> she would. <laughs> she would. I mean, you know, our was high she school, in your grade? You know, I don't remember who, huh. the, who it was. Why don't I remember this? I feel yeah, like I don't remember that either. Someone being. I on mean, Oprah. it sounds about right. Maybe I'm crossing my streets. I don't know. Maybe it didn't happen. No, I feel I, like there's. I remember I'm, watching the episode. Oh. That's we'll weird. have to look it up. I feel like there was always random weird rumors in school. Yeah. Like, remember the rumor? I don't know if it's true. Maybe it is. But I remember everyone would always say the creator of Ninja Turtles went to our school. 
I never heard that. I never heard that what? either. Everyone used to say that. And I was like, no, <laughs> that can't be true. And I feel like one year I looked it up and I'm pretty sure it wasn't true. It sounds about I never 99% but like, true. For that the longest untrue. time, people said that. And I was like, well, that's kind of dope. And then I was, started questioning it. And I was like, oh, that can't that, be right. That can't be right. Wow. But people used to say that all the time in school. I mean, that'd be pretty dope, but. Yeah. I don't think I don't it's true. Know for sure. I feel like I was duped. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I never You were heard young that. and impressionable. <sighs> I mean, I was like in senior year. <laughs> <laughs> I was 17. Ooh. Still young and impressionable. Ooh. Still, Still young, young and impressionable. And impressionable. Give totally. yourself some credit. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. I was a mess. Let us know, though, if you were on a game show or if you know someone that was on one. Or and if you know who well? created Ninja Turtles and where they went right. to high school. Right, that too. <laughs> More important. Did they Help go me. to your high school? Did, Did any do you know people them? go to your high school? Did you create Ninja Turtles? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Are you the creator? Michelle, you're wearing new glasses? I am. Uh, so nice. So I ordered two pairs. I ordered one from Warby Parker, one from Bon Look. Not sponsored. Not no. sponsored. We're love love goals, both. Though, yeah, goals. To get on bond look so if you work there yeah this up um the ones i'm wearing are from bond look the ones i ordered from warby were too wide Aww. Yeah. Bummer. i have a very 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 narrow face you have a very particular framed yeah especially glass. around the eyes yeah yeah the innards i wish i could get plastic surgery to extend that area because i love bigger glasses <laughs> but anyway um <laughs> these fit much nicer they're on the small side and um yeah i love them so I returned the Warbies. Very fashion forward. Yeah, Thank I need you. new glasses. They're like tortoisey. Tortoise. Yeah, and they're actually my first pair of black glasses. I never wore black glasses before, but really? these are black and then they go they, into they a have tortoise a little shell. Col- yeah, they have a little. Yeah, but I love cream them. color at the end. I ends. love them. Very cute. Thank you so much. I like them a lot. Yeah, and the Warbies actually, I was just going to get my old pairs, but in a different color. And they're the brown with the blue. Mm. And I was like, if I wear this, I'm going to match the girls. Yeah. That's okay. People. We all have the same Triplets. glasses. I might actually do that. Do just it. Because I love my old pair of glasses that I'm still yeah. going to wear. Because I didn't get another exam this year because my prescription didn't change right. last year. It's not yeah. necessary. You know, actually, I mean. I'm going to have them refract me tomorrow because I feel like my glasses need to be a tinge mm. stronger. A tinge. Plus, my night vision is horrific. So is mine. I mean, I think that's... I've always had bad night vision, though. My mom's always had bad night vision, so I guess there's nothing. My night vision is really bad if it's raining. Oh my god! All the (laughs) reflections and the glares. I'm like, fuck! I can't see the lanes. Yeah, yeah. It's bad when it's raining. I I don't like to drive at night, and it worries me because I'm. Oh, you sound like your mommy. I know, (laughs) but I'm not. I really don't like driving at night. Yeah. I don't. I have very bad vision. Mm. Hashtag thirty one and thriving. Right. <laughs> Hashtag totally. we are blind. Yeah. We yeah. can't see. But anyway, that's okay. What do you guys got oh, today? The phones keep vibrating. Oh. Yeah. What do we have? Who wants to go first? I can go first. Go okay. ahead, Michelle. Take mm-hmm. the lead. So Michelle has a question and a topic. Correct? Do you want the question first? Or sure. Do you want the topic sure. First? Question's good. I was telling Nicole today at work. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Hi, girl. About the, all the times that I've fainted. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm so happy we're going back to this. <laughs> Do you know all my stories, Ing? Uh, I feel like I've heard. Okay. Maybe They're great. Couple, but refresh but then my I memory. Was, uh, so I've had a couple of weird instances of fainting. Um, one was at a Jesus camp. Oh, with Krista. Did you know? Do you know this one? No, it's great. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm about it's to so okay. hear a story. Jesus camp. I'm in. Yeah. So I think I was around 11 or 12, 13, whatever it is. My friend Krista, um, her church or this group she was involved with was doing a Jesus camp weekend. <laughs> lit. Sounds Jesus fucking camp. lit. Local though. <laughs> I'm not. We couldn't. I texted you didn't her today. Sleep there? We did sleep there. Oh. And as I was, this is legit Jesus camp. Yeah, we slept in cabins with bunk beds. Wow. No. So my dad was pissed because my dad was Jewish. I guess technically he is Jew. Uh, Yeah, he was Jewish, (laughs) and my mom was a Christian. So we grew up with both holidays, and my dad just did not want me to go to this. He thought they were going to convert me. He thought this was evil. (laughs) And I'm like, don't worry, mom. I'm just going because Krista's going. Right. At the time, Krista was my life. Right. She still is my life. So. Chris's mom drops us off, and it was nonstop Jesus preaching, nonstop, in your face. (gasps) So the first night we sleep there, and I'm so overwhelmed. I'm like, I hate this. But I didn't want to say anything to Krista because 
maybe she is enjoying it. Yeah. And then the next day we wake up and it's like a full day activity, like nine to five, all these Jesus centered activities. We had to each cabin had to pick a song that we were going to sing to Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. And I just want to say, like, whatever your your feelings oh, are, yeah. and this is I'm not judging anything. I'm just telling you my experiences. Of course. So you're twelve. I, like right. So yeah. our cabin chose Ain't No Mountain High Enough. <laughs> and we performed this and sung this to good Jesus. Good song. Good song though. Good oh. song. Yeah. Um, so anyway, <laughs> during I guess it was later on in the evening, the next day. Um, there was a lot of like singing and dancing and there's just chair. We got out of our chairs and Michelle just went down and I had a seizure. Oh my God. Yeah. Fainted, had a seizure and I was like trembling <gasps> and I wake up. Maybe it was the power of Christ. Right. The p- <laughs> well, this is what they said. <gasps> oh my God. Well, no, no. They <laughs> no, didn't no, say no. that. <laughs> they didn't. S- but, but. I wake up and imagine you're laying on the floor and all these people are just, just looking, looking down, down on you. Yes. And I was just like, what? Did I die? And they're like, perhaps we got way out of hand and we were missing God's message and we shouldn't have been dancing. And I was like, and Crystal looked at me. I was like, we got to go home. Like, we got to go home. Yeah. I can't be here any longer. So they gave me orange juice. And uh, I felt so much better afterwards and I felt like I needed to escape. And so Chris's mom came and picked us up and we went home. And my dad was very relieved. <gasps> the oh end. God. <laughs> so did Jesus enter your body? I have no idea. He, he must have entered your body. I he passed through you. I think. And to get he to was like, else. I think he went through and was like, oh shit, she's Jewish. And he panicked and left. Oh, hey, sorry. That's and, not and creepy and at all. On the window. So that was that time. Then I fainted in Savannah, Georgia. It was like overheated. Was that went. another Jesus camp? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> my last Michelle time. Michelle has <laughs> very poor um, circulation, and sh- I'm sure her feet are blue. Her feet are blue, <laughs> and I'm one. And but you're All very the time. in your later years have been very hydrated though. Well, here's the thing. In Savannah, Jesus camp. I think I got. I was way upset and overwhelmed. Yeah, so I think right. my body shut down. Yeah, were you but in like the middle performing? Though. And you no. had a seizure. No, this was later in the day. For I like just pictured like <laughs> little you. Hey, no matter. Oh <laughs> and you're just like passing out. <laughs> and they're I just this, so ready. Oh, it's too good. This was during like. But like you never had any out. previous seizure. Like a seizure is different than passing out. Like that's more serious. I don't think it was a seizure. Krista just said my body was like okay. shaking. Okay, yeah, because sometimes when you pass out, that does happen. Yeah. Like <laughs> All spasm. I remember though, when I fainted. I didn't realize I fainted. I just kind of blacked out. But yeah. in my mind, I thought of television. I just wanted to go home and watch TV. Aww. Aww. Well, Still I wanted to go true. home and watch The Simpsons. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. The last... Get me out of Jesus camp. When I fainted in Savannah. I think I was overheated, so I just went down. And then the, the last major thing when I fainted, I was at an Of Montreal concert yes. with Aunt. Yes. And <laughs> Aunt and I were newly dating. And that was my fault. I didn't eat. I thought I was stuffed. And I don't know if you guys know the bi- the bonds, the band of Montreal, but they're very eccentric. And at the time, the performance was this guy came out dressed as a whore, like a centaur, and there was bright <laughs> colors. And so I just went down. I she think was it triggered. Was triggered. triggered. I don't know what happened. And so I woke up in the bouncer's arms, and I look at the bouncer. Oh I'm God. like, was he hot? He was hot. Oh, uh, yes. dream. And he goes, <laughs> and I look at him like, did I faint again? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, and I touched my face. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm like, do you have my glasses? Like, I was so calm. And then. Where's Aunt? Aunt? He's standing in the back, terrified. Terrified. He probably didn't know what to do. He doesn't know that I faint sometimes. Yeah. And then I look at the guy. I'm like, you know, I just need to eat. Do you have like a hot dog bun? (laughs) (laughs) No hot dog, please, but a hot dog bun. Because you don't eat meat, yeah. So he gave me the bun. And then Aunt Oh, he did get you a bun? He did. And Aunt was just like, what the? Aunt looked so terrified. I'm like, yeah, sometimes I faint. I'm like, I didn't eat. Is that a deal breaker? Yeah. (laughs) It started at Jesus camp. He entered my body. And since then. (laughs) That was it. Since then he comes and goes. He comes and goes. And sometimes (laughs) he, he likes to visit and. But now when I faint, I know when it's coming and I kind of see purple and I'm like, I'm going to sit down now because I think I'm going to faint. And that's what happened. Do you remember the last time you fainted uh, or you felt like you were going to faint? You felt faintish? When I drank a lot and I'm dehydrated, I wake yeah. up in the middle of the night. 
So what I do is I lay on the bathroom floor to cool my face or I'll tell Aunt, be like, oh, I feel like I'm going to faint right now. I'm just going to go sit on the cold floor. <laughs> so though <laughs> you wake up from your bed. Yeah. And, you and get feel up like you're going to faint. Go. Yeah. But then my thought would be like, but just I'm already in, in my bed. <laughs> See, in my head mentally, I'm hot. So I want to okay. cool myself down. That and, makes sense. And I know this might sound super weird, guys, but I feel I'm very spiritually connected to the water. I thought so you were going to say spiritually <laughs> connected to my bathroom floor. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I so like, uh, I will run cold water and think, and I always like do these breathing exercises that's and I good. think of the ocean. Okay. The ocean calms me. Whatever so gets, whatever calms you. So I'll just like put my cheek to the cold bathroom floor <laughs> and usually the cats walk in like, what's going on? I'm like, you know, mommy's like, getting a little fainty. <laughs> Jesus is here. He's visiting. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be, he'll I, be just have, I just have to wait it out. But, have you guys ever fainted? I haven't. Ingrid's never I'm fainted. not cool. Ever? No. Liz? Yes, I have once. You but have? But it, it wasn't a full-on faint. Um, so a couple of years back, I had wicked stomach pains to the point where I had to lay on the couch like all morning. It just so happened that I was like off from work. It was like a weekend or something. And I was laying on the couch all day and sipping water you know, thinking like, oh, maybe I'm dehydrated. I know I didn't I didn't eat anything, so it couldn't have been p- food poisoning. Like, I didn't understand. And so all day I'm laying with my feet up on the couch. My mom gets home, and she's like, why don't you, like, you know, g- oops, sorry, get up and, like, you know, take a shower. Like, I just was like, oh, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll go in the bath or something. So I was laying down all day. I get up really quickly and I go up the flight of stairs with pains in my stomach, thinking that a bath is going to like soothe the pains in my stomach. And my mom sees that I'm kind of like not all with it. And she's like, let me walk you to the bathroom. So she helps me go up all the stairs. I have like, you know, 15 stairs in my house and we get into the bathroom. And as the bath is loading or filling up, (laughs) loading, (laughs) um, loading. I just see like kind of, the black spots a little bit and i was like mom oh no <laughs> and, I just, and i just kept going oh no oh no oh no because i knew i've never fainted before but i've definitely come close to it and she's like what what she's literally holding me up so i don't crack my head on the tub so i didn't actually fall to the ground but i was just shut off like i was wilting. shut off you wilting. were wilting and my mom, my sister's traumatized from this because my sister was downstairs, I think, at the time. My dad was either sleeping or, like, watching TV. And he's deaf in one ear, so he didn't hear my mom yelling, like, run, run. I need help because I'm a heavy. My mom is very petite, so her holding me was very hard for her. So then my sister comes running up the stairs and is, like, trying to help me. And I only blacked out for less than 15 seconds. But it w- I did black out and I woke up and I was like, I feel great. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the thing. It's crazy. Like your body just like shuts off and then reboots. It's a restart. And you're great. It's like a restart <laughs> button. And my mom's like, we need to go to the hospital. I was like, no, 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 no. So we end up going to a walk-in clinic that's for children. I think I was like at the cutoff, like maybe 26, 25, whenever the cutoff <laughs> was. And I, we walk in and I was like, uh, I need to sign myself in, do the paperwork. <laughs> Wait, so this was like two years ago? It was maybe... Never heard of this story. Maybe I was maybe like 25, 26. Oh, okay. So maybe three, four years three ago. Four. Four year, I'm picturing like little high school mm-hmm. lists when yeah. I heard this story. No, and I've never... Besides that, I never passed out. And so we go to the the uh, walk-in, and she tells me that I'm really severely hi- dehydrated. Oh. And they gave me the Pedialyte ice pops, which are amazing, by oh. the way, if you guys are ever dehydrated. If you're about to faint. If you're about to faint. and But I was so confused because I knew that I wasn't dehydrated, but like my levels were coming back that I was. And it was so strange to me. And then... We, she didn't let me leave. She had me eat like two of the ice pops and she tested me again. And then we left. And the next day my mom kept force feeding the ice pops down my throat. <laughs> and I was fine after that. It was so strange yeah. because I never felt like I was sick, but I, was, I w- couldn't understand why I had pains in my stomach. It just didn't make any sense. But that's the only time. Anyway, I got a little fainty when I donated blood. Yeah, you did, I'm sure. I was with you. Yeah, that's right. You Does did that get count? a little it was I fainty. So. I didn't black out. 
Yeah. But I stood up and, you know, when they're like, are you okay to stand up? And I'm like, yeah, I'm great. I stood up and I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, yeah. no. Nope. Yeah. And they put me back down on like the little cot. And, and they put give my you feet orange up. juice and cookies. Yeah, best part. And yeah. they put your feet up. It, get, it gave me like a cold towel on my head. Mm-hmm. And I had to like chill there for a little bit longer. Yeah. But I did get a little fainty. But it wasn't like I blacked out. You don't wake kinda, up. Right. Yeah, no. It, it was just like, arms. like I felt everything kind of drain. And I just got like really like, whoo, like yeah. kind of. Mm-hmm. I remember a couple of times in high school, Sam passing out. Oh, Sam. <laughs> I remember. Out. She's get blood tests. I remember two specific times. I wasn't with her the first time. The first time I remember getting a call over the loudspeaker. I don't know. They called me down. I don't know why they would call me. <laughs> and the nurse like told me they're like, Sam passed down in school she went home sick i maybe she was bringing me home or something i don't remember what Uh, it was and i was like oh my god and then the other time she hit her knee really hard against the desk and And she passed out and she passed out yeah and that actually (laughs) happened to my dad my mom told me like a hundred years ago at work he hit his knee really hard on the desk and it was so triggering that it made him pass out. Wow. So be careful, guys. <laughs> you could pass out from hitting your knee. I'm or surprised hitting, that like, hasn't bone. happened when I hit my elbow so oh, hard. Because I've you know. hit my elbow so hard that you see I stars. cry. Yeah. Like, you, you see little You see the spots. dots. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. So let us know if you fainted. Yeah. Let us know if you have yeah. any funny stories. I love a good fainting story. <laughs> we love a good fainting story. But I just remember like Michelle fainting and being like yeah i passed out again last weekend i'm like oh you're <laughs> no okay big deal. <laughs> no, nbd the like, hot I'm bouncer fine. though yeah not bad yeah nothing and like waking up and looking up and seeing a hottie and and just knowing like oh, i fainted again i mean that kind of happened to me in high school with mr grosso oh when you on the skiing trip on the, on ski the trip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did Let i me, tell this story on the hey, podcast Mr. Grasso, what's i up? don't think so <laughs> how are you but we the senior That's trip <laughs> for high school we uh the poconos. we would go to the poconos and we would go to a ski resort but not ski we would only sled which yeah was, right which now they like liability. yeah but now they go skiing and snowboarding and they go do all this cr- they go study abroad whatever i'm not bitter at all <laughs> but so we were sledding and i'm going down the mountain sledding and another girl is going down the mountain and we just completely <laughs> crash into each other and clunk heads Ow. hard, like fucking hard. I'm surprised I didn't like get knocked out. So I'm just laying there like starfish in the snow with my eyes closed. Cause I'm just like, this is the fucking worst. You're like, am I dead? And I'm like, <laughs> just laying there with my eyes closed. And I'm just like, I, this is it. This is the end. And all of a sudden I just see this little shadow above me. And I'm just like, I open my eyes. I think it's like, I don't know, one of our friends or something. And it's um, the hottest science teacher <laughs> in the school. <laughs> and he's just like And he's shaking. so sweet. And he's so, so like so, so sweet. sweet. And he's shaking me. And I'm just like opening my eyes. And he's just like, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> and I literally go, I am now. <laughs> and I just like, and he just laughs. And he's like, no, really, are you okay? Like, are you, like, are you all right? And then the other girl comes and I'm just like, wow, I totally ate shit. Like, yeah. Pat, like it was so funny and then he like helps me up and i'm just like yeah i'm okay (laughs) (laughs) you're so pretty yeah he was a really nice guy and we would sam and i would tally how many times he said um yeah because he was you know a nerve a nervous it was his kind of uh, that was his tick yeah yeah so he'd be like, yeah, he also um, lifeguards um, in the summers um, and we would tally it Um, but like literally the nicest guy ever so sweet I hope he's doing well. I haven't I seen him I hope he's doing well. Time. Shout out to Mr. Grasso. Um, yeah. You were an, a nice guy. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Great teacher. <laughs> if you're listening. Hottie McHot. Hottie McHot. Hottie McHot. Saved oh my life on the mountain, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Such a hero. Yeah. Was So the question was, have you ever passed out? Uh, that was my question. Yeah. <laughs> not, not my topic, but you guys, you guys go because I feel like this turned into a topic, which is great. No, which that, is awesome. That is, it is. I could save that fun. for next week. Um, my topic is what weird things did you guys do as a child? Because oh. I yeah. got for some reason at work we were talking about things we did as a kid, and like I think it started because we were talking about some kid that comes to work sometimes, and he's weird someone's kid that they bring i don't understand when people bring their kids to work but whatever um Mm -hmm. and then we're just it just got us talking and i started to remember like just weird things that i do because kids are weird so i was like i want to know what weird things you guys used to do i know michelle plethora has a plethora 
Um, I had a lot of imaginary friends. I had an imaginary gr- black grandma named Coco. She knit me socks. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I, kn- I didn't Fucking have grandparents it. growing up, so I made my own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. I have Mark was my friend and Kelly, which I'm thinking. Like, These are all imaginary, right? All imaginary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I used to put my cats in cat school. With my friend Krista, back uh-huh, to Jesus uh-huh. Camp. Uh, so before I met Krista, I would put my cats in the classroom and I'd have them go to gym class. Probably not great for their backs because I'd make them do sit-ups. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, not no. great. That is not good. <laughs> no. Oh. And I would dress them up and they were my children. And then I'd send them to cat school and I would teach them and make them get bad grades. And then in fifth grade, when I met Krista and I went over her house, she's like, okay, well, today's cat school. And I was like, I play cat school, too. <laughs> oh, soul sisters soul ever since. Right. But that was Sam and I were very imaginative be kids because yeah. we just we played Pappy and Karen. Those were those. Remember, I was like, I told you guys I was always the divorced mother. Mm-hmm. Right. Mike always left me. Fuck Mike. <laughs> Fuck Mike. And what a dick. I played a lot outside, and I pretended yeah. I was a Native American Indian. We would pretend yeah. we were animals. We were yeah. outside a lot. Uh, outside a lot. I remember we, me and my sisters, me and my one sister, I don't think my other sister was born yet, we would watch Aristocats and oh. pour ourselves bowls of milk and yes. lap milk like cats yeah, we, while watching. We would do that, that too. too. We would look at the bowls uh, of milk. Right? Like just, yeah. And then um, I had a weird phase where I would eat napkins. <laughs> oh, I would okay. hide under my sister's <laughs> crib and just <laughs> literally grab a pack of napkins and eat them. On, my like, mom was true like, life. True, like life. true life my, like my i was addicted addiction. to <laughs> but it was just like a phase for like a couple months i was just eating and then i would always eat the cupcake wrappers so i was like why was i eating so much paper yeah all of the paper i would eat it my mom oh, would wow. like have to snatch it like she'd be like where's steph well she calls me stuff so weird <laughs> where's ingrid like she would be like looking around and she'd like know right away if she couldn't find me that i was hidden somewhere eating paper it hurts my teeth to think that you ate paper is that right weird? well it was like soft paper like it wasn't that. like printer paper <laughs> i know i know <laughs> you know i'm just gonna like, get a little defensive <laughs> i eat a lot <laughs> With, like, of gum wrappers miso, so i'm just like okay like, so that's kind of the same thing I gum ch- wrappers i used to chew on silly putty okay oh that's so unhealthy <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know why. It's not the greatest. Yeah, it's not the best. Anything that I put in my mouth that was not supposed to be in there. But um, oh, another weird thing. Oh. But yeah, that was a story that everyone was like, "What?" Yeah, like I ate napkins. Like yeah, no I big mean, deal. It could be. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Strange, but um, but not crazy. Yeah, strange. we would just like pretend to be animals, like yeah. running around. We and ate a lot of mud pies. Yeah. Mud pies, or like mm-hmm. pizza. We'd always make food. Yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. or With dirt. I would. I didn't have pets growing up. Thank you so much, parents. But <laughs> my, the ants outside would be my pets. Aww. And so my mom would get the planters, you know, in the springtime and summer, and I would take the plastic that the plants were in, and I would put the ants in it. And then so I would cover sweet. it with some saran wrap because uh, I didn't want them to leave. Oh. And then the next day they w- would they'd be, be dead. cooked. Yeah, they'd be dead. So be it wasn't a very good <laughs> pet owner. Oh. But, you know, I just wanted some pets. And the red ants were my pets because I was, you know, mean. And the black ants were my sister's pets <laughs> because she was the nice one. It's really cute. <laughs> it's really stinky yeah. cute. I remember we used to do circuses and stuff. Kids don't do this anymore. No. no. They don't. They don't. It's sad. Sam and I played this game called Underwearis, and she wore underwear on her head. <laughs> and she was a prince, and we had a maid named Alice, and Alice took care of us. And actually, Mittens was our brother. Mittens was our cat at the time. <laughs> we used to sit on the stairs and pretend we're driving the bus. I mean, we... I thought you were going to talk about the farts in the jar, because that's my favorite story. <laughs> have I told that on the podcast? No, I don't think so. I don't oh, think you let's have. Let's fucking hear it. Sam did weird but shit. I know. And she was it's my a very best Sam heavy. Sam, I hope Sam listens to this episode. I'm going to tell everyone what Sam and I used to do as well. Okay. <laughs> you tell about the fart jars, because that's the best. Sam was a strange kid. <laughs> and at the time, my parents had this, ha- this couch, this sectional, that had a... A place in the middle of it yeah. that you could store Storage. like remotes and so stuff weird. like that. I mean, yeah, I guess for a remote, so it's good. So Sam had a plastic container in the couch and it was clear. <laughs> and one day she's like, Do you want to smell what's in here? And I was like, uh, It's clear, there's nothing in there. And she's like, No, you should smell it. Or she's like, No, you should smell it. She had a very deep voice. <laughs> oh my so she God. opens it and I smell it and I'm I'm smelling fucking death. And she goes, <laughs> and she re seals it and she goes, I farted in there. 
What if there was sharticles? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you just put your face to it. It's the worst smell. It's I my have favorite story. Oh story my god! Smell, you I'll should like give her a jar of farts for her wedding. I should. Oh my god! You should. That should she be your her me. gift. Throwback Thursday. Oh Here you go. Here's be a jar like of farts. something her, used. Like, dinner? It could be ants. Farts. It's something Even used. Worse. Something. Oh, <laughs> and borrowed, sort of, <laughs> but used for sure. Yes. Oh. So that is hysterical. If you ever want to get someone back, just fart in a clear jar and have them smell yeah. it. It I was mean, a, yeah. Sam Sam had a huge imagination, so we would always do silly, stupid shit. But I remember vividly we would be in, at Miss Hannigan's orphanage, <laughs> and we would be orphans. <laughs> and we uh, it was wi- a winter day, and your house was always so decorated, decked out in Christmas decorations, and it felt always like you were walking into like a kingdom I of know. like Christmas yeah. decorations. So. We would pretend we would go outside in the middle of the winter and run around and Miss Hannigan was chasing us. So we would just like run around (laughs) and get really out of breath. And, you know, um, and we would walk back in and your mom would make us hot chocolate because we got we got adopted. (laughs) (laughs) Or we would take the American Girl dolls and they would get adopted. And they had I remember Sam had um, like little suitcases for them. Yeah. Why? (laughs) You'd have a suitcase. But we took them on the trip and. You know, they yeah. would go to the orphanage with us, too. I remember <laughs> Good uh, times. <laughs> when I was younger, me and my sisters, this was before our basement was finished. So the whole basement, and you guys know how big it is, it was just like the wood paneling, mm-hmm. but no um, sheetrock. So it still had all these kind of like hallways and stuff. And we would take white chalk and like draw arrows and there was no lights down there creepy so fucking creepy and we would draw these arrows and we'd go down with like little flashlights and we would pretend we were like in this like haunted like house and we had to follow these arrows to escape and like we would trick ourselves like one of my sisters would do the arrows but then we wouldn't know which way to go and like (laughs) some of them would be be, like a dead end and it was just like we would freak ourselves out Mm -hmm. so much doing that and then We also have the cottage in the back, which before was fixed, was like an abandoned house with like people like that used to live there left all of the furniture, photographs. I fucking wish we still kept it because I love that shit now. And I'm like, fuck, I wish we kept like all that stuff to see. Like there were like handwritten letters, like just like it was an abandoned house pretty much. And me and my sisters would go back there and just like do bad things like throw rocks at the windows and like break shit and like pretend that was a haunted house and we were escaping from like someone that like kid it mm-hmm. explains my like your dreams my you know my dreams and all the things i like now with true crime and haunted yeah. things and blah 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 but we ended up actually one day doing that and my parents didn't know but then my sister somehow got glass like all in her hand like we broke one of the windows and i think I don't know how she managed to do it. I think she went to grab another rock to throw and there was glass and she got it all in her hand and I got the shit kicked out of me, but not her. I was well, the one that got the in trouble. You're the oldest. Pissed. And Pissed. That, another weird thing I used to, I used to do my homework in the bathroom. In the bathroom? I, I felt I like concentrated more. Krista, again. <laughs> we go homework in the bathroom. We'd go home, lock the bathroom door and do our homework in there. My mom would be like, get out of the bathroom. No distractions. Like, I was like, mom, I'm doing my homework. There's no distractions. And then Chris and I would call each other and talk about our experiences in the bathroom. You know what I would do in the bathroom? I would, in my mo- my parents' old bathroom, it was very like narrow where the sink was to the wall. So I'd put my hands on the sink and then climb up my feet behind the wall <laughs> and do like handstands. Why? Naked. <laughs> naked. Completely naked. Like after I get out of the shower. Or like before I go in the shower, I just oh. like let me just try it. <laughs> I'm on. gonna do gymnastics, but naked. Like, come on, Alyssa. Gosh, you're gonna fall. Were there weird things you believed when you were little that are clearly not true? I used to think the moon followed you wherever you went. Oh, but it does. <laughs> but it doesn't. <laughs> like I used to actually think it moved with you when I was little. I used to tell my sister a lot of things that she believed oh, as a too. child. Because oh, when yeah. you're an older I told my sibling. sister she was adopted for a really long time. Me she too. believed it. That we found her in the dumpster next to Walmart. Oh. My dad would say he had a return policy up until yeah. she I know, nine. and she would like blubber like, <gasps> please like, don't, don't get rid of me. Get the shit, we're returning you to Stony uh-huh. Brook Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> my dad would threaten me with the Easter Bunny because I didn't like giant oh, things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he'd be like, if you I don't mean, scary. behave, I'm calling Easter, Easter Bunny. Easter terrifying. I was at the mall the other day and he was there. He's I was like, terrifying. He is. He's, He's a big, scary. scary bunny. No. Uh, what else did I believe? Um, I feel like there's so many things that I believed for so long. And then when I found out, I was like, fuck, really? 
don't know if I was disappointed. I'm like obviously Santa. I believe for a good amount of time. Right. Do you remember when you realized Santa? <laughs> spoiler alert: Santa's not real. If you're listening. <laughs> okay. I think I have a vivid memory that my first grade teacher told us. That really? St. Nicholas was real, but Santa is actually not. But a I teacher actually did that? She's probably like, at this point, they all should know. He's yeah. Not. That teacher clearly hated her job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Ross. But uh, oh. <laughs> um, I kept on believing because my parents would be like, fine, stay up the whole night. Just wait and see. And then, of course, we could never stay up. Yeah. And we'd come down and my parents always turned Christmas morning was like the most magical experience. Yeah. So. Yeah. My parents went all out. They yeah. would like put footprints in the snow yeah. and then track in dirty footprints That's cute. Yeah, and too. they Beat. would ring a bell. Yeah. And I mean, cause well, we didn't go to sleep and wake up. We did. And we still do like open presents at midnight on mm-hmm. Christmas Eve. So like they would like corral all the kids in another room and then the adults would obviously bring in all the presents and then they would have someone put in a, put on a Santa suit and they would like be running away because obviously, and they would even go on the roof and like wow. stomp on the ceiling. So like it's very, so, so I don't remember what grade I was in. when I finally was like, I slowly became part of the older kids that helped corral the younger mm-hmm. kids, but yeah. knew what was going on. I feel like I was in third. Yeah. Grade? That's when I started to, but I kept third, it quiet. How old Sam. are you in third grade? Eight. Yeah. Eight. Eight-ish. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Maybe I was eight teetering. or nine. I think I just always, I guess, knew that he wasn't real because I was a little Jewish kid. True. And my mom, I guess, growing up was like, no, don't tell anyone that he's not real because yeah. you don't want to ruin it. And I just never did you until you like you guys realized. And I'm like, yay, we can talk about <laughs> this. You didn't have Hanukkah Harry? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what used to really freak me out, though? Elijah. At the Passover. Oh, Actually, yeah. it's fitting the, because what? Passover is this weekend. So at, yes. at a, the Passover Seder, you would you would pour a cup for Elijah. Now, don't even ask me who the fuck Elijah is. I have no idea who Elijah it's, is. This is, sounds really creepy already. It is. And you would pour a cup for Elijah. And at the time in the Seder, when it's time for Elijah to come, you would open the door. This is fucking it's terrifying. So, it's terrifying. <laughs> you're supposed to leave a chair. Yes. We don't do that. Okay. But, I mean, there's there, yes. we have a small table. So Elijah yes. comes. Some it guy is, Elijah It comes? is absolutely terrifying. And the illusion of it was that the wine glass did actually, like, lessen like the the liquid would lessen like Don't someone you think took it was a just sip. the adults getting drunk because the same no takes i think forever. it just yeah right <laughs> I think like when the kids turn around they're like <laughs> taking slurp it used i used to hide under the table i used to like go into the back that's, i was i'm sorry petrified that's scary yeah i was petrified i was I also scared of everything that. um when i was younger i wanted to be jewish <laughs> because uh, I don't know if you guys did this in your elementary school, but like when it came, I remember like our elementary school for certain like big crafts, like everyone in the same grade would go to the gym and do a big craft mm-hmm. together. Do you, did you guys do that too? I have no childhood memory, so I oh, don't remember. Okay. <laughs> well, there was one that they did for, this was back when like holidays were still celebrated in schools right? and they would be like, okay, so if you, um, celebrate Christmas, come on this side and you're going to make like a popsicle Christmas tree. And if you celebrate um, Hanukkah, you're going to make the cool star of David, which was like <laughs> blue and silver and sparkly, my yeah. favorite colors. I was like, well, I want to make the star. So I made yeah, the, the star of David, um, popsicle star. And they put like our school picture in the middle and Aww. then you bring it home. And my sister brought home her Christmas tree and I brought my star of David. <laughs> and my mom was like, the fuck? <laughs> She's like, we're not Jewish. Aww. And I'm like, yeah, but the star is prettier than a right? tree. You, can put it, you just hang it. It's like a perfect example of how wonderful children are. Right. right? And then I first learned what uh, Passover was from the Rugrats. Right. Oh, of course. That was how I learned. I was like, oh, I'm really I really, really loved Passover as a kid because my my family would go all out and the Seder was fun and they got us all the the um, drawing a blank here. Uh, I'm not Jewish. I don't know. The plagues. The plagues? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the with the frogs and yeah. the, oh, yeah. the what's the, it called? The, de- the seven de- the devil deadly Yeah, we're place. bad Jews. But anyway, yeah, I loved bad. it and I loved when they hid the Hafi Komen. Yeah, that's the best. Because you get money. Hafi Komen is half the middle matzah. That's See, right. I know this. Oh. Every every year in my we call Is my that when you have to put like red paint on the door and then someone swoops? Well, yeah, the red paint is <laughs> that's sl- I remember that from Rugrats. <laughs> I remember that from Rugrats. Which is so bullshit like, because I'm a firstborn. So, yeah, you know. But I remember they did that and I was like, that's fucking terrifying. It is. Yeah, there's a lot about it that is. It is. The ten plagues. Kid, the ten, the plagues, ten yes. plagues. Oh, that's like the cicadas and yeah. darkness, right? And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
and my and the frogs. Vermin. We had a whole bag yeah. of all the plays. It was really cool. Really, but the Hoppy Coleman was great because you get money. whoever won, you get money. Mm-hmm. And oh. by this time, I really just had a little bit to drink, so you could yeah. get a lot of money from each yeah. other. Or like my great uncle, even though we wouldn't win, he would still get everyone money. Yeah. We always went home. It was just a good time. Go home time. with $10. Yeah, whatever. 10 bucks when you're a kid. That's like and a lot of money. And at the time I ate meat, so I was eating that good oh. brisket. Oh, yeah. I don't like brisket. Oh. I was just talking about this I with one of my brisket. patients. And I'm like, isn't it the same cut of meat as like corned beef? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, then why don't I like that? And I like corned beef. It is? I guess it's because corned beef is pickled and brisket yeah, bris- potted. I never was into potted things like stew. Oh, or I fucking like, love stew. Yeah, I'm not into that. Ooh. But... With potatoes, please oh. enjoy. Whew. Yeah, that's yeah. my shit. Well, that was fun. What do you that have, Lizzie? Um, What's your topic? I was just going to talk about the DMV a little bit, even though it's like <laughs> so. Oh, we haven't heard your story. It's not even a story. It's just like a rant about okay, the, let's, let's the motor vehicle. Yeah, so it's the worst. So my license expired on my birthday this year, and me being proactive, I was going to renew my license, but I wanted to get the enhanced license because. In two years, if you're going to travel outside the U.S., you're going to need to get it anyway. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I might as well do it now. I'll update my picture and all this stuff and do it. So I, didn't I go. Update I didn't update my picture. Yeah. Well, I got the new license, but I kept my old picture. So Fuck it. wait till the end of my story. <laughs> <laughs> so I decide, you know, I'm going to get all of my stuff together and I'm like texting my sister's boyfriend, Ryan, and I'm like, do I have everything? He's like, you need like two forms of identification and you need blah, blah, blah. And I was like, OK, I have it. So on, uh, I should have brought the list because this is I had this idea a couple of weeks ago and it was fresh in my mind. But now it's not. But on the list of, is all these things that you need to have as a second form of identification with the enhanced license. So. Your license is not good enough. You need to have your social security card, not a copy of it, which is fine. Got that. You need to have either your um, a canceled check, a uh, bank statement that's been mailed to you for 180 days before the date of your appointment. You have to have Why? a welfare stamp. You have to have your Medicaid, social security uh, print out but not printed out mailed to you all this stuff that I didn't have I'm like first of all number one I'm not a degenerate I'm not over the age of 65 I don't own my Why own house Why can't you bring a passport? I don't have a passport was only the other form you needed like three forms of identification I had my passport which expires in 2020 my social security card and my driver's license apparently all of that wasn't good enough and, me, and then I made myself an appointment and I was like you know, feeling like I'm so proactive. I, I <laughs> sign in, I go there and he swipes my like, um, ticket, not ticket, you know, your reservation, reservation and I go to the counter and they're so nasty. They're, they're so, e- I mean, they hate their evil lives in there. there because I, I feel like they need to have people that are very like, no next kind of personality, yeah. which I'm not like that. So I go and I'm like, how are you? Let's get this over with. I want to get an enhanced passport. Okay. Where are your, your three forms of, you know, um, identification. So I give her my checkbook, which has my name and address on it, which they said, but that wasn't a canceled check. So it didn't, what's, what's a canceled check? I'm like, so I have to have no money. And they have to cancel my check in order for you to give me an enhanced passport. All the things on the list were for people who are like poor or degenerates that like don't pay their bills or like, I'm just like, I I'm an, I'm 29 and I just want to update my license. Like I don't, what do I need to have all this information for? So I don't get why a canceled check versus a, a functioning check. The list went on and on and on of all the things that you can have is another form, it. but I didn't have any of that and I didn't have any of it mailed to my house it would have been fine if i had my credit card statement or my w-2 but none of it was mailed to me it was i printed it online and so none of that was working and so i literally just looked at her and i was like thank you i pulled up all my papers like shoved into an envelope and just went online and i renew my license i go fuck my picture i'm not i will be 21 in my picture again i don't care yeah so that was my rant. Yes. I have an, uh, I don't have an enhanced license. And in two years, when everyone else is waiting online to get this stupid enhanced license, I'm going to be complaining about why I didn't get my, enan- my enhanced license. Your story is exactly <sighs> what happened to Ann's cousin, Zach. It's so ridiculous. When he went to show and he had all his forms, they took his license. And then they're like, oh, wait. And they already punched it. And so they're like, we can't actually let you leave the DMV 
to go <gasps> get your next form. And he's like, what do you, what do you mean? I what? can't leave the DMV. They're like, you don't have your other form of identification. And he, he like, he didn't have his mortgage statement of a hundred and whatever yeah, days it it's was. So stupid. And he's like, are you kidding me? And so he's like, I have to go leave. My wife can make, and they're like, we can't let you leave. You don't have a valid license. He's like, oh, you just my punched God. it. Then to finish it off, they finally go, um, do you have a gun license? He's like, yeah, I do. Like they didn't even start with that. Like that should so he got his he showed the oh gun license. Oh my god. Can you believe that? But they were well, like, I you don't can't have a leave. gun license. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever it's it was a, it was two pages front and back of all these things that you could have. I had none of them. Yeah. Or I couldn't even get them accessible to me within a certain time frame. So me being a good um, a citizen and New Yorker and American, I was like, I'll just renew my pa- my ID and have my picture be old and have them say, are you sure this is you? Because right. it doesn't look anything like me. And <laughs> what's bullshit it's about... It's me at 21 years old, which doesn't the, look like me now. Yeah, mine's from 21 too. Is With the credit <gasps> card statements, everything does go green. Everything's right. online. But I'm, when you print right. it, it's not... I'm it doesn't not, count. I'm not over the age of 80 where my, you know, I keep my bank statements. I can't Everything's find online. List. We're trying to be preserving paper. Yeah, it's bad. It's That's So I was ridiculous. absolutely furious and I just... I was so mad the rest of the day. It, like, turned me off. I was, like, at my coworkers. I'm, like, I'm just applying for my stupid regular license. And in two years, I'll come back and I'll figure it out. But I was just, like, s- beyond, yeah. beyond upset and just annoyed because I like to be proactive. And I thought that I was being proactive. And I was being proactive two years in advance to be proactive and still wasn't good enough. I was like, fuck, so fuck all stupid. of you. I can't. I can't. I wonder if that's just New York that requires so many I don't know. Things. Let us know. Let us know your state requirements for DMV. Yeah. And let us know your horrible DMV stories. Yeah, I would have been happy I if I didn't have to go change my picture or get the enhanced license. All you have to do is just fill out the form online and renew it that way. So that's what I do. As that's easy as that. Too. What's the enhanced license? like a you can it's, go to canada and yeah mexico. you won't need your passport anymore for but canada I think it's just and mexico, for canada but mexico. It's just, yeah it's not international no well that i mean that is technically international but not overseas it's a continental i was just like, oh well i don't know what i'm gonna be doing in 2020 so i might as well just get the enhanced license and not have to worry about it ryan's mom actually this is why i asked him about it is because sh- his mom went to the dmv and her her name is not legally changed so on her license is her ma- is her married name but on her passport or something was like her maiden name and so she spent five hours at the dmv just trying to figure out they wouldn't let her go either because she had all these what do they do things. have like fucking security right? hold you right like oh we have your license you now, can't so leave you can't exactly. leave. like where the that guy was like you absolute- can't leave and zach's like what i mean zach's a big dude. yeah He's fucking like, watch, watch me, leave. me leave it's like you're waiting it's like you're a degenerate sitting in in court yeah. waiting for them to like yeah uh, mm-hmm. do you appeal your ticket or whatever like it's Crazy. i was like I can't. oh my god Oh my god! I haven't been to the DMV in it's like the absolute years worst because I try to do life. anything that I can online. Me too. That it does, yeah. I just don't want to have to go there ever. It makes you feel like you don't. I have to renew my passport. Actually, yeah, it just yeah, expired. Yeah, Bora Bora. Yeah, <laughs> Bora Bora and Tafiti. <laughs> I just want the island of Tafiti. I have some listener feedback. Oh, oh hell yeah! Fun. Um, so Seth messaged me, our good buddy Seth. And he's like, hey, I'm just checking in. Did you, are you able to do your push up yet? Because remember, I talked about it, that was yeah. what I was checking. We all talked about our goals. And so I told him how, you know, I had a procedure done, I had stitches, and I couldn't stretch for three weeks. Right. right. So he sent advice that I should do, I should practice push ups using a counter. Mm hmm. And build. I do that at work all the time. Do you? Mm-hmm. It's great. And, yeah. then, and then you're able to, and he's like, you'll be amazed at when you work up to that, when you get to the ground, how many push ups you can do. Oh. Yeah, when I had a personal trainer at the gym, my goal was to actually do a pull up. Yeah, uh-huh. and so we would do just the motion with like you know your your delt motion kind of before that. And I mean, I stopped training, so I never did actually get to do <laughs> that pull up. But yeah, like just working on those muscles without doing it is so yeah. is just as good because you're steps. working towards it. So that's what I'm gonna. There work you on. go. That's a good you idea. You could do that for the whole year, and you probably could do like ten push ups by the time you're. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then Muse Chick sent something funny, uh, Vicky. She wanted to ask us if, did we hear about Target 
and how we'll be able to drink at Target while we shop. They're working oh, on getting their liquor license. M-G. OMG. Well, I didn't hear that, but dangerous. thank you for sending that, Vicky. Because that Hell yeah. I went to Target last night. I ordered from Target and I got my order yesterday. I got my NYX microbrow pencil, nice. some puffin cereal, and uh, some face masks. Yeah, nice. I, I turned it's great. I was just like, get a little, little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. Do you guys know that um, Adnan got a appeal today? Yes, I did see that. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're we. I mean, that was the one murder podcast that I listened oh, to. I'm so, so proud. Me too. I felt like I had to bring it up a little bit. Oh, so. I didn't hear that. Yeah. yeah, they're going. They he the appeals court is going to let him have oh, another. That's good. I saw that. I didn't get to click on it and read, but I saw trial. It on my feed. Trial. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Trial. And if so you haven't that's listened exciting. to Serial Season 1, you yeah, should. Listen. Yeah. Um, so many good podcasts. I listened to Ear Hustle, the second episode. <sighs> that was heavy. Very heavy. That was a heavy episode. Mm-hmm. But it's good. Mm-hmm. I will listen to any <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I listen to, okay. we're going to do a little podcast round mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Always. Goop. Always. With Oprah. I saw you Instagrammed. What do they talk about with Oprah? <gasps> I'm I'm pretty sure going back to Jesus camp, Oprah's my Jesus. Like <laughs> that's <laughs> Oprah. No, but Oprah's in all in all seriousness, this was a great episode, and it was just very. Just, Oprah's just wonderful, and the way she talks about being self aware and being at peace with yourself, and just it's just in her and Gwyneth, and I just loved it. It was very very nice to wake up in the morning and listen to that even though the rest of the day was kind of annoying. Right. <laughs> but I highly recommend the episode with Oprah and... Maybe I'll check it Gwyneth. out. Yeah, just that episode. Yeah. Just listen to Oprah. She's so soothing. Yeah, yeah. Her, her voice. voice. You just tune in and you're like, yes, Oprah. Easy. Yes, Oprah. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Yes, Queen. That's Jesus sneezing Jesus. out. Um, I have a bunch of tweets Ooh. from our um, DCOM episode. Oh, okay. yay. Um, uh, at K more four says the decom episode of it takes three podcast was goals maybe a great follow-up topic would be disney channel original tv shows oh the, yeah we did that last we, yeah, we read that one okay yeah. but we i did tweet her back about so weird and oh right she responded she i have that response to actually it. i was it was funny because uh, i was oh do you want to read it no go ahead you oh, can read it. i have it oh let me scroll it's okay uh, do, 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 do. here we go um y'all mentioned so weird love the show alex Johnson yes. later came on the show and then later did the theme song for Degrassi for seasons 11 to I think 13. She was also an instant star, which was great. Yeah, that ins- was instant star. Yeah, that was at, watch that a at, lot. at Danny Lay Leah seven. Yeah. Uh, my sister and I it was back then the N or a noggin or whatever for yeah, teens. Right. It was the N and we would oh, watch yeah. Degrassi. And then we would watch Instant Star and Alex Johnson was a very good singer and she was on that show. And then she was on So Weird Mm -hmm. as well, I guess, as a kid growing up. Uh, It's just funny. All the Canadian shows, Canadian uh, channels. Yeah. She also tweeted, um, y'all talk about the sad part of Toy Story 3 in the latest podcast. I saw Toy Story 3 on a first date and started crying. Ooh. That was one of my <laughs> first dates as well. And then some people shared think. their bracket winners. We've had, we got Allie got Beauty and the Beast. Kelsey got Lion King. Um, John ended up with Lion King versus Toy Story 3. Wow. But he didn't tell us who won. Who did you pick? John. John. He's upstairs right now. We could just yell. I asked him John. and he, he's like, <laughs> I didn't really pick. What? You he have to his, pick. You can't. He picked his finals. Okay. I guessed him and... Did you got? Did you guys do it? Because my final was Monsters Inc. versus Aladdin, and of course I picked Aladdin. I kind of like went through it again as I was looking at it, and I pretty much end Lion King again. It's a toss up, like yeah. But I think Lion King takes it for me. Yeah, probably for me too. I didn't do it separately on for my. Coco made it further Mm -hmm. in for me, but my sister was verbatim the Buzzfeed article. I was like, how? It She's must basic. be like the millennial. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people were tweeting like, "Get all these the, two thousand, all these two thousand babies," because yeah. they were making it the results. They were picking the ones like Frozen right. and Tangled and newer. Yeah, I so mean, I had coworkers come out with uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Someone had on top Pocahontas. Another coworker had another co- coworker had Lion King. And I think that was it from people that I know that did it. Yeah, Nicole at work, I did it to her today while she was grooming. She 
it came out of Lion King. It was giving top. a lot of people anxiety at work. I was getting, we were emailing each other. They're like, how do I pick? I'm like, you just have to you like just do weigh it. all the odds. You have to think right. music, cast, a nostalgia attached to it. Yeah. Storyline. Yeah. Yeah, you know? it, what, it, it really was hard. And like last week I was saying, it, it's like picking between two of your children. Like you yeah. love them mm-hmm. so much and you However, don't want to pick. You know, there's always a favorite. Think there's <laughs> always a favorite. <laughs> no, but there should have, I think that there should have been Cinderella and Jungle Book. There should have Jungle Book right. would have won. And there yeah. are other brackets floating around that oh, have are? a lot like more of the movies. Like older Disney yeah. movies? Yeah, they definitely Bigger brackets. didn't touch upon a, no, no, no. a ton I of I think ones. the person that made it purposely made it in a way... That makes it really hard to do. Yeah. And I mean, there were a lot of them that were similar premises to each right. other. So you kind of put them against each other. Like people, are, people were like, why are all three Toy Stories on there? Yeah. Like, that's dumb. And I'm like, don't ever say that. <laughs> don't ever say that. All yeah. three. That's like the greatest trilogy of all time. Cartoon wise. Yeah. Yeah. What other cartoons have three good trilogy? Like three good movies. Yeah. That's that's true. All they're Cars? All Psh, <laughs> out of here. Yeah, out of here with that trash. <laughs> no yeah. Things. No, thank you. Yeah. But what are your shout outs? I have shout I have a few. Shout out. You guys first, first. shout out. Queer I got in the second season. Yes, honey. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so excited. I'm living, loving, dreaming, <laughs> sneezing. <laughs> all Live, breathe, queer sneeze. eye. All I all emotions. About yeah. My second is kind of silly, but I'm shouting out Spotify because I just typed in some random ass, like, I don't know emo station 2000s early or whatever and then so my my daily mix was so solid and they gave me a lot of music that i forgot about and they just totally like reverted me right back to high school and the rocket summer oh my god the rocket summer and it's just like if you've never listened to never knew please go stop the podcast please listen just to the song jam out in your car and just scream and just be in in 27 2007 again with me okay thanks so much sounds Bye. good <laughs> um my shout out this week is milkshakes because my milkshake brings my the <laughs> my german cousin visiting from germany is obsessed with AKA milkshakes lily collins aka <laughs> lily collins um she is obsessed with milkshakes and riverdale so we've and been watching cream. and ice cream <laughs> she crushes ice cream like no other but uh we watched riverdale and she was like can we make milkshakes and i'm so like cute. yes that's great so totally that's why we went to target we went we picked up some ice cream and we made milkshakes and they were delicious and it was great what was in your milkshake i did a cookies and cream Ooh. milkshake so it was just cookies and cream ice cream with milk and then whipped cream on top and some m&ms my top Solid. would be either a coffee milkshake or a strawberry milkshake. Yeah. I'm not a fan of strawberry milkshakes. A lot of people aren't fans of strawberry milkshakes yeah. in general. But I, I know it's a classic. Strawberry but used to be my favorite ice cream flavor. Wow. I never liked chocolate. it. I, I just never want to shake. <laughs> oh, I love Too milkshakes. much milk for you, it's Michelle. Like, yeah. Even if it's but vegan, I, mean, like, I mean, you can make a vegan milkshake yeah, easy. Totally. Almond milk and now doesn't um, so Ben & Jerry's awesome. have like Yeah, there's easy. a lot of. I just drank so fast because my dessert would be gone so fast. Yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, I pounded the milkshake. Yeah, yeah it's she not, had it's like not a she had like three dessert. fourths of her, and I was like, I just crushed yeah, it. Like I mine's d- mine's gone already. I'm already eating the M&Ms. Yeah, mm. but it's really good. So it looked that delicious. Good. It was great. Um, I have two shout outs. Number one, Felicity, I'm enjoying you. Yay! Okay. Finally, and number two, Roseanne is back. Yes, it is, and it is so good. I, I really never watched Roseanne. I never watched it either. But she like I would Ruben hear. I remember like scrolling avid. through TV and like hearing her voice, and I'd be like, "Nope." And <laughs> right? just, yeah, I wasn't. I well, never even gave it a shot. That's okay. Um, I grew up watching Roseanne, and I loved it. I love, love, love Roseanne. And so all these shows now are making comebacks, right? Yeah. You know, they're either good or they're bad. Will and Grace is really good. Gilmore Girls not that great. The mm. comeback, I enjoyed it, but you know. It was nice to be in the world again. Perfectly Just like Full said. House. That was nice to be in the uh, world again. I watched one episode of Full House. I only watched I should the say first Fuller episode. House, whatever that was. That was kind of fun yeah. to be in Girl there meets again. Girl Meets World. Girl Meets World. Yeah. But, but Roseanne, yeah. I, and I didn't have expectations, to be honest. But I was like, I'm going to watch it anyway. And I, had, I was emotional watching it. Yeah. I had chills. And all I could think about are these people working together again. Yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. It was... It was really, really, really good. So it's like a fun reunion. Yes, so good. I mean, everyone 
I mean, they addressed the things that were weird in the last season. Mm-hmm. And so how many seasons were there originally mm-hmm. of that show? Do we know offhand? I don't know. Offhand. We can Google. Yeah. So I'm going to Google. What channel was that on? I think ooh, it's messaging. Sorry, guys. Um, Roseanne had 10 seasons. Holy wow. fuck. That was a lot more than I thought. Yeah. That was on for a long time. Yeah. And it premiered in 89. Oh. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, maybe. Was it 88? I thought it was 88. We were babies. Literally. Oh, no, I think born. it was 88, actually. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, these people oh, working damn. together for that long. Wow. Yeah. And to all come back. Yeah. Wow. A network, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Yeah. I feel like it would be like this produced this network would actually air on this yeah. network. Yeah. But now it's on ABC, so perhaps it is. Maybe it was ABC. Yeah. But it's oh, really cool. That's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. It that's is really nice. Good. So if you're watching Roseanne, get at me at Madruzzi. Thanks. <laughs> Hit her up. <laughs> Hit me up on my sitcoms. <laughs> or we can talk on that like secret group. Oh, yes. <gasps> we our do have a secret, secret Facebook page for our Patreon pledges. So. Good segue there. Mm. Look at her. Segue queen. Um, we do have a private secret Facebook fa- Oh, wow. A Facebook. <laughs> Facebook group. It's that, one's, that one's a little tricky it's a to little say. It's a little tongue twister. Uh, see? <laughs> 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 We're fritzing out. Line. Um, yeah. Line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a secret Facebook group on Patreon. There we go. <laughs> We're going to talk about Patreon. This yeah, Patreon. Um, if you go to ittakes3podcast.com, you get all the links to all of our stuff, including our Patreon page. If you like the show and you listen to the podcast each week, it's a great way to support. And um, we're going to start doing some live streams, and we have the secret Facebook group. We're going to do the movie. We're going to do the movie. We're going to do a movie night. We're going to do plan the game. It. The yes. game was first, right? Game, we promised yes. ourselves game was first. We're going to make it happen. and um, But yeah, if you support us over there, we really appreciate it. And if you go to our website, again, it's ittakes3podcast.com. All our links are there. Great way to find us. And if you want to follow our personal stuff, everything's over there as well. Yeah. We have a P.O. Box. Michelle needs chickpeas. She's right. low. Oh, my God. Guys, the ongoing <laughs> joke. The ongoing uh, joke. P.O. Box 76, Quorum, New York, 11727. And if you don't want to send chickpeas, you can send us like letters. Letters. That's always great. We love reading them. We want to keep snail mail alive. It's either Thanks. chickpeas or letters. Or like Honestly, stickers. we do have a little cork board. We do. That yeah. we've been um, hanging up your letters and cool things you guys send us. So if you want to be part of that, feel yeah. free. And we have our other podcast, Tree Hill Talk. If you like the show One Tree Hill, we watch and review it each week on Mondays. Check it out. Tree Hill Talk. Yeah. Dot com. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have Happy a hump day. Good hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Today is um, April 4th. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I hope you had a good Easter slash Passover slash whatever. April Fools, you survived. April Fools. As Happy well. birthday to Liam the cat. <laughs> you can follow At him. Mr. Liam the cat on Instagram. <laughs> on Instagram. Um, Thanks, guys. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to be in April now. I know. Insane. It was just March. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where is the warm weather, though? Where are you? It's coming. It's been warmer. It's been better. Ish. Think Ish. about it. We had no snow this week. That's a pro. That's, right? That's yeah. true. That's it's true. the first week without a blizzard. Yeah. Without a nor'easter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's coming. I don't know it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Okay. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.